Hello, welcome to Minute Monday. Today we're looking at tests of divisibility for nine. Okay, by that I mean that we'll be able to work out whether a number can be divided exactly by nine. What's, so really, what's that useful for then? Um, it's useful for, I suppose, just if you need to know, I've got to share something between nine people or out between nine different things, it can be useful to know whether you can do that precisely. So perhaps before you start sharing it out, just have an idea in your head, am I going to be able to do this exactly? Mm. So give me three reasons for, for that. Then. Three reasons. Okay, well, that's a, right. So there's one. Yeah. I suppose second reason, you, it's useful um, as a way to have a rough check or some kind of check on an answer. So if you've divided something by nine and you've ended up with a remainder, you could do a quick test of divisibility just to see whether you should have ended up with a remainder or maybe you made a mistake and it should have divided exactly by nine. So it's not going to tell you necessarily whether your answer is completely right, but it's just an extra check you can do to see whether you've made a mistake. Um, and probably thirdly, the reason I use it the most is when I'm playing countdown. You know, eight out of ten cats does countdown, they got the numbers thing. And so if you get like your target number at the top, and then you've got all the numbers underneath. Well, if one of the numbers underneath is nine, I do a quick check to see whether the target number is divisible by nine. Because okay. if it is, you know, that's a method I can use to solve the problem. Thank you, Rachel Riley. You're welcome. You're welcome. All right, so let me show you how to do it. All you have to do, you add up, and it'll work for any number, doesn't matter how large it is, you just add up the digits in the number. And if they add up to either nine or something in the nine times table, in other words, a multiple of nine, then your original number was itself in the nine times table. Um, for example, if my starting number was... Um, 873, I would add 8 and 7 and 3, which is 18. Well, 18 is in the 9 times table, it's a multiple of 9, so therefore 873 is in the 9 times table. Um, if my starting number was 7,416, I would add 7, add 4, add 1, add 6, which again is 18 actually, isn't it? So. Well, so that's going to be in the nine times table as well. So that number is also divisible by nine. There's a huge... What is that? I don't know. Hornet or something. Is it? Massive. Hurry yeah. up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but let's say that, let's say that the number was 30,041. I would add three, add four, add one, which is eight. Well, eight isn't in the nine times table. So therefore, that number is not in the nine times table. Okay? Um, I'll put five numbers up here. You can have a quick, just do a super quick check whether those numbers are in the nine times table or not. Um, and I'll, I'll put the answers up in a second. Okay, thanks for watching. Another Minute Monday here every Monday with quick tips and tricks to help you with your maths.